Okay, uh, good morning, everybody. Um, I found a problem uh, that was posted at a fairly popular uh, math website. And uh, it was it was uh, marked as a challenging problem. Now it was a, it was an interesting problem, but whether or not it was challenging, I, I'll leave it to you viewers. Uh, I didn't personally think it was super challenging. There was one spot in the problem where maybe I could see why, but we'll let you guys be the judge on this. And let's get started. Uh, you're given a polynomial uh, ax to the seventh plus bx cubed plus two. And you're also given that that polynomial evaluated at 11 is equal to five. I notice you have some flexibility here about the A's and the B's. Um, and I think maybe this was posed as a challenging problem because if you if first blush, when you look at this, you think you have to find out what A and B are. Now it turns out by the design of the problem, you can actually evaluate the polynomial at negative 11 without actually knowing the values of A and B. And maybe maybe that makes it fair. Maybe it is a challenging problem for that reason alone. And also you might think, oh, I have to really know what 11 to the seventh is, or I have to know what 11 to the third is. Well, it turns out you really don't. And so in that regard, it, it is a challenging problem. But if you look at the solution, it's really fairly straightforward. So uh, let's get into how this, how this would go. Um, Bring this up, folks. So, now uh, here we go. Now, so folks, um, they tell you that P11 is equal to 5. That's all that get, is given to you. And so you, you might as well evaluate it and see what becomes of it. Now, P at 11 right here um, ends up resulting in this term right here. Okay. Now again, the arithmetic there is fairly straightforward. Um, you just substitute 11 everywhere you see an X. And then when you subtract this two from both sides, you get this expression is actually equal to three. Now notice at this point in the problem, you never had to determine what 11 to the seventh was or 11 cubed was. All right. Now let's see how that might help us. Now, hopefully all this color coding helps you. Um, and again, I know it's kind of like, why, how did you know that was gonna work? Well, of course I worked the problem, but you can see that when you actually evaluate this at negative 11, um, owing to the fact that these minus signs uh, raised to an odd power come out. For example, you know, minus one raised to the third power is still minus one because the minus ones cancel pairwise, leaving one minus sign. So it's a fairly well-known result that any negative value raised to an odd value is still gonna be negative, all right? And so that's exactly what happened on this step right here. This minus sign came out to the front and by the distributive property, we could rewrite it like this. All righty, the minus sign out front there. Now notice in the previous step, we did determine that this value A, a times 11 to the seventh plus B times 11 cubed is actually equal to three. And so you see how this just worked out very nicely, minus three plus two, and the final result is negative one. So P at negative 11 is equal to negative one. You never had to know what 11 to the seventh was or 11 cubed, and you never had to find A. So in that regard, uh, I, I consider it a challenge problem. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that one. Thanks for listening.